we're gonna, we're gonna divide this dough in half, and we're gonna try the blue cheese and onion concept, and half of it's gonna be blue cheese, and half we're gonna use the St. Pat cheese, just so we can find out ourselves, because we're basically looking for signature ideas. And because this dough is so, um, so sticky, which is good, I love working with sticky dough. Most people, home baking, don't. I mean, they're afraid of it, but let's see what, if we can make this work. So we're gonna put enough flour down here to protect it. Some flour on my hand also, just to, so we can peel this, this plastic off. And we're gonna make, try to make two pizzas out of this. So we're gonna make small individual pizzas so we can make more, do more things with it. I usually put flour on the back of my hands, get under it. So again, this one really wants to stick. So we're gonna get a lot of flour underneath so, it's, so that it, it's coated. I'm gonna lift it on the back. See, it's, it's so tender that you hardly really have to pick it up at all. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't, it wants to go where it's going. So on this one is that if you just stretch and fold the dough and fold it over like that without even adding extra flour, the dough does get much stronger. Look at how right. stronger it gets just ready, by yeah. stretching and folding it. So here we got a, now we've got a pizza dough ball that's gonna be a little easier to stretch next time. This one will, will stretch totally on the counter. And we have to make sure we have enough flour so that the pizza slides off. Let's just turn this into a pizza. We're using pine nuts. So why don't we put those underneath because they're already toasted so they don't need to be exposed too much to the heat. So we'll just coat the, the whole thing with that. Let's put the onions on next. Okay. And I'm gonna move this under so that we wanna get those onions right on there, not on the peel. So these are caramelized onions. You can use straight caramelized onions like these, or you can do caramelized onions with sugar and balsamic vinegar in them and get kind of an uh, onion marmalade. These have just a small amount of balsamic in Some ba So there's already balsamic just, just in finished, here. Nice. Yeah. And then we're gonna provide, instead of adding sugar to them, we'll provide the sweetness by adding these local mulberries, which is kinda of cool. That's seasonal. Okay. Half the cheese will be, um, uh, we're gonna go with the St. Pat, Pat, which comes from Cal uh, Cowgirl Creamery in Point Reyes, California, Northern California, outside of San Francisco. Wonderful artisan cheese company doing some amazing cheeses. They, they started maybe about 10, 15 years ago and have uh, won numerous awards for their cheeses. I'm very familiar with these and I love them. All right, and then we'll, we'll try for contrasting flavor. On the other half, we'll go with the blue. And this is what smoked blue, this is, right? Yeah, smoked blue from Rogue Creamery in, uh, in Oregon. Um, we would do, we've got that wonderful uh, balsamic, balsamic reduction. glaze that you did. So we're, talk, talk about that reduction and what did you do there? Um, it's actually just, just aged balsamic and um, we reduce it with just a, a tiny bit of port wine and just bring it down until it's like a syrup like, like consistency. A syrup. So yeah. we'll, we'll garnish it with that at the end. And we'll go ahead and slide that pizza close to the coals and we'll keep our eye on it because we have no idea how long this is gonna take. We're, we're flying without a net right now. Part of you know your process is probably learning all the characteristics Absolutely. and personality of your oven. Absolutely. And we're looking for that balancing act of time, temperature, and ingredients that the, uh, our goal right now is to make sure the bottom of the crust gets baked because once the bottom's done, we can always lift the pizza up into the higher chamber where it's really, really hot. So all we have to do at this point, I think, and it's only been in about three minutes, which means we're right on schedule. It's actually baking pretty good. Right. We'll hold it up here just to get a little more melting of the cheese. All right, I think we're about ready. See, just a few seconds. It's about 200, maybe 300 degrees hotter up here than it is down here. So everything's gonna happen a lot faster. What do you think? Yeah. It's starting to look like a really beautiful pizza. I'm getting excited. The transformations of starches and sugars and proteins turning into something else. That's part of what makes pizza so cool. So you wanna go ahead and glaze that for us? Absolutely. We'll garnish it with a little squiggle of the balsamic glaze, which will, again, heighten and accent. And in addition, the purpose of a garnish is to visually enhance it as well as to uh, enhance the flavors. It has to do both. This is the St. Pat's, yeah. which is kind of like an American ver uh, brie type cheese. So this is great. This is part of the discovery so process. Good. This is the part we love about pizza. It's an ongoing eternal discovery process. I'm gonna take this little piece here. I'm ready. And we got, uh, just see what else did we discover on this dough. So we got a little puff in the edge, not, not the fullest puff, mm -hmm. but because we have, it's a little tight, we can see that it's, there's not a lot of big air bubbles there, which means that we still probably had time. We can give this dough a little time if we want to continue to gas up. All right, so here we go, let's try it. And the cheese itself is just kinda, it's heavy, it's like a base right. note. And the yeah. mulberries, like the, uh, the treble and the tenor note. So you gotta have all those things going at once. But we're onto something here. You could even turn that almost into a dessert pizza. Yeah, you could. Yep. So now, 
be interesting to see how this one, I'm going to lay this one down for a second and see how it compares to the blue cheese note. <laughs> Still equally pretty, of course. Different cheese, different flavor. I mean, let's face it, there's an infinite number of combinations that you can do with pizza. Oh, wow. I even like this one more. Mm -hmm. The blue cheese and the berry, I think, is pretty wicked combination. Yeah, you get that, like, the funky blue, and then, and then the berry kind of just flattens it out. Yeah. You're going for another bite. Yeah, like, yeah, you're going for another bite. It's like right? a palate cleanser. Almost.